Now, leaders are drawn from 15 pastoralist counties have opposed Deputy President Rigati Gashago's remarks on revenue sharing formula. The leaders are from uh, northeastern regions say the one man, one vote, one shilling formula being propagated by the Deputy President goes against the Constitution and will undermine development in the counties that are still behind. The leaders are from the north and now want the Deputy President to desist from a divisive talk and instead unite the country. They now say their counties will will back the one man, one kilometer formula of revenue sharing. The one shilling, one vote, which basically refers to a population-based revenue sharing formula, is one which is untenable, it is unfair, it's unconstitutional, and it's one which will never happen in this country. We urge the proponents of one man, one vote, one shilling to step down from this reg regressive clamor and focus on promoting equitable and inclusive development and across the country. And if they persist, we'll also continue with one man, one vote, one kilometer. Those who propagate this mantra believe that uh, they, they think we have not gone to school. Actually, this is corruption from the back door. You want to steal resources through a policy. That policy we reject it in total. Regardi hajaona hizi vipenge, je akiapa kulinda katiba hi haikuwa sehemu ya katiba ya Kenya. Kwa nini leo amejiteremsha amekuwa kiongozi ya jimbo na sio kiongozi ya taifa? Iwapo anathibitisho hatoshi kukua kiongozi wa Kenya then darudi kwa mlima Kenya awe governor huko ataheshimika zaidi lakini Kenya hatoshi our people cannot access clean water there is no tap water yet in their places the water is in the, the tap water is in every village in every household same with electricity same with the medical care we will not accept we will not accept and we will urge his excellency the deputy president to be man enough to be the deputy president of kenya and not a village elder of nyeri or mount kenya region for that matter to be honest i think we are now we are tired of this issue of no resources should go to northern kenya we are tired we want resources to go there because we are part and parcel of this country